Hey, welcome to Today Matters, our short devotional in the Word of God. We're talking about what it means to be a Christian in our culture today, and namely, how a Christian makes decisions. There are certain tests Christians should take before making major decisions. Why? Because as Christians, we are called to make decisions based on a higher standard than the world. See, we're either going to get our authority from the world or from the Word. So, First test was, we said, what does God's word say? First, we always have to check with the word of God. What is he telling me? What does he say about this decision that I I need to make? Secondly, we have to ask the question is, would I want everyone to know about it? Third question that we ask ourselves is, will it make me a better person? And last, uh, yesterday we talked about the fourth test. Can it become addicting? We've walked through all four of those. If you missed any devotional, I want to encourage you to go back and check it out today. The fifth test is the question that you need to ask yourself. Test number five, very simply, is will it hurt others? I mean, how's it going to affect other people? One of the biggest mistakes that we make in life is we forget how much our actions influence and affect other people around us. Every day, you're tempted to make decisions that may be the best thing for you, but could have a devastating effect on the people around you. Now, that may be how the world operates. Many people say things like, man, I got to think about me. I got to do what's best for me. Now, that's just an excuse for being selfish. I'm really glad that when Jesus was about to go to the cross, he didn't say, nah, I'm going to die. I, I, I'm not going to die for the sins of the world, man. I got to do what's best for me. You're all on your own. No, he sacrificed for us. He left us an example as Christians that we're supposed to follow. We do the hard thing because he gave us that example. That's why We're supposed to do as Christians. That's what we're supposed to do. Before we make a big decision, we ask the question, how is this going to affect others? Will this hurt other people? We have to think, how is my decision going to affect other people? Very simply, right? God expects you to think of other people around you. The Bible says one day you're going to be judged by God on how your decisions affected other people. Not how they affected you, but how they affected other people. Now listen to this verse In Romans chapter 14, verses 12 and 3 from the Living Bible, listen to what it says. Each of us will give an account of himself to God. Try to live in such a way that you will never make your brother stumble by letting him see you doing something he thinks is wrong. Now, you may not like hearing this, but whether you like it or not, you're being watched. There is no such thing as all this affects is me. That's a lie. Everything you do has an effect on somebody else, either directly or indirectly. Those of you who are parents should be especially aware that little eyes are always watching you. Because of that, you want to be careful with what you say and do because you're influencing not just your life, but the next generation. And so realize that your children are watching. This test says, how is what I'm about to do going to hurt somebody else? Is it going to hurt someone? How's it going to affect them? Even as a neighbor, you need to ask, am I a good neighbor to the people around me who live next door to me? People are watching you. They're going to, there's going to be times when, you know, in life, I mean, you're going to get a raw deal. Right? You're going to want to let people have it. Teach them a lesson. But listen to me. Don't do it. Because sure enough, right behind you in line will be the guy who sat behind you in church last week who's not a believer and is saying, if that's what a Christian is, forget it. When you become a Christian, you can't just live your life any way you want to. You have to be aware of how it affects other people. That was very important. It's called witnessing. You witness not by wearing a shirt that says, I love Jesus, or by wearing a bumper sticker with a dove on it. You witness by showing people you love Jesus by the way you treat people when you're wronged. Let's take a look at Romans 15, verses 1 and 2 from the Living Bible. It says, even if we believe that it makes no difference to the Lord whether we do these things, still we cannot just go ahead and do them to please ourselves. We must, listen to this, Bear the burden of being considerate of the doubts and fears of others. Mature people limit their freedom for the benefit of others. Immature people don't. Why do you do that? Because you're afraid of what other people think? Of course not. You do it out of love. You do it because it's the loving thing to do. The mark of maturity is that you consider your decisions. You consider how it's going to affect everybody else around you, not just yourself. 
Now, in situations where there's no clear right or wrong, those gray areas that we talked about earlier, what do you do? Very simply, you ask, how is this going to affect other people? 